uh, this is my fourth video on Omnet Plus Plus. So uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the C Plus Plus version, uh, the C Plus Plus side of our simulation. So how is the C Plus Plus different, or how does the C Plus Plus, C plus, plus implement it in this case? So C Plus Plus is simply implemented um, using a normal C Plus Plus language, but it is a little bit different. So one, when you're uh, creating a new file, when you're creating a C++ file, you don't just create a, the normal CPP file, but you put, put, you create the CC file, which is the Omnit CC C++ version. So, as you know, if you have used Eclipse before, when you create a C++ file, uh, it would create, it would automatically, automatically create the header file and the CC file for you. So, this is a very simple version of this file, or it's a very simplified one. But let's look at an even simpler one, which is the handler. So oh, sorry, the handler.cc and handler.edit, right? Okay, so let's look at the header files first. So what do all the header files have in common? They would have, they should have the first two lines in common. So each header file has to have, and it has to include the Omnit uh, header file, the Omnit PPL header file, and it should use the namespace Omnit PP. So trust me, you can use your own namespaces in some cases, but it's usually end up being a headache and hard to debug. So I always use the namespace the Omnit uh, PP namespace. Next thing is, so you would have the uh, class definition, right? So in the header file, so you have your class classifier, and it inherits from public C symbol, C symbol module. So, if you remember from the last video, we say that a simple module is the the only active part of your model. So this means that it is the only module that needs a C plus plus definition or that needs a character. Our C plus plus is going to be defining a character or property of that file, which in this case it is. So in the handler, for example, the handler is also inherited, but it has two, it defines two functions, initialize and handle message. By the way, these messages are, I mean, these functions are defined in the parent class and they need to be defined, not need, but in many cases, they have to be overwritten by the child. So we'll talk about a case in which a child or a, a C++ file and Omni C++ file doesn't have to define this initialize, but they would all have to define handle message. So in this case, handle message or initialize, um, no, initialize here, has uh, a few characters, right? First, when, so initialize is invoked when the simulation is being built. So once you've built your uh, project and you hit run or simulate, what you would work with, it would initialize everything and it would hit, it would wait for you to hit run in the simulation version. So it would create a message and then also create four pointers to a message. And then it would duplicate the messages created first and then it would schedule them. It would schedule them at time zero zero. So schedule at is this is your time and this is the particular message that's supposed to be sent. So it would then be sent at that time. So this is all it does. So we just create four messages in that. So and then we have a handler. What does this handler do? This handler is whenever a message comes to the gate to one of the gates of the net file, or the <coughs> net component, or the component. Uh, in this case, it would delete that message, create a new one, and then send it out through the out gate. So here, you need to pay attention to the C message part and the send part, because the C message part is split. It's creating an object, which is called a C message. And then here, the send, you have a uh, couple of options. One, one is if you only have one gate and it doesn't have any index, it's just only with the sound array. You just simply call it as out. So, 
here, this out, the string, it's going to go and look for a gate called out in the module that you have to define. So in this one, we can send that message. So one of the things that I've missed while going through here is the top part of a simple, uh, simple module. I mean, a simple module. So if you always need to import, you of course include your header file, but also include that um, the PPH, well, it's already in there, so in this case it's a bit redundant. But then you always have to define your C++ object as a module. So this define module is part of the Omnit++ function that would define the module, recognize your module as uh, an Omnit module or the Omnit simple, simple module. So now that we've seen this, let's see a case in which uh, module or simple module doesn't have to define and initialize. So a classifier, if you have seen it, a classifier is in a hub switch. And in the hub switch it comes in here. But also if you've seen our network, what our network does is it receives a message from the computer to the channel to the hub switch. And then it would do something with it. So but for the for the hub switch to receive something the computer have to start sending something, which means that I, the hub switch is not involved in the initialization stage unless you wanted to define a particular parameter that you want to. But if you don't want to, you don't have to define that initialize, but you still have to define the handle message because it's receiving a message. So in this case, what it does is it creates four pointers, duplicate the message it got, and then send it out. So as you know, a hub switch is a switch that would Whenever it receives a message, what it does is it doesn't try to figure out the destination of the message or the packet received. It just sends it out to all its ports so that the ones who were expecting for that message would simply collect it, but the ones who didn't would just reject it. In this case, uh, we don't really have a concept of destination, which you can add, by the way, in our more complicated versions. So, in this case, we have a Different, slightly different uh, kind of send. So you have the message, and you're sending to the gate called up, but you have an I, which is an index. So this go go between zero and three. So now you're sending it up to all the things that you have. And then let's look at Q. So uh, if you remember in the last lecture, in the last video, we talked about. Uh, parameter definition and our Q had a capacity. And if you see here, our Q actually had a capacity here as well. Well, I could have named it something different, but the way I would connect it to the capacity in the net file would be using this. So, as we've talked about, the Q is also an as we've said before, Q is also not involved in the uh, initialization process. But if we wanted something to be initialized at that point, this is one case. So capacity would be equal to parameter or capa uh, parameter capacity. So this would look for go to the net file and look for capacity. So what this does is it would let the modules that are being built, the compound modules that are being built out of the queue or the simple module define their own I mean, not define but also to use initial use their own parameters or their own numbers to initialize this parameter. So if I defined it in a C plus plus then the net for the compound module would not have access to that. But in this case it does. Okay. What else? So we also have a C queue. So this is a queue. By the way, this queue doesn't have much use here, but in many uh, simulations you would need to have a queue because your channel can be busy. For example, here, as you can see, what this does is it would get the gate and then it would ask it, it would get the channel that's connected to the gate and then it asks it if it's busy. If you are busy, I'm just going to, if you're not, if you're not busy, I'm going to pop a message from my queue and then send it to you and say my capacity has increased. But if, and then at first also we, when we're entering it here, if my capacity is less than zero or zero, then I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna drop the packet and delete it. But if my capacity is more than that, 
I'm going to insert this message and reduce my capacity. So this is a pretty simple logic, but as you can see, this is one way to keep your message, your, your message from being dropped because, just because the gate is busy. So in real world, you would have some kind of hardware that would be keeping track of or keeping your packets in a certain space until the channel is free. In our case, that's just what's happening here. So also, as you can see, uh, we are still using home space uh, as on the PP and we are importing the same thing. So you just need to have these things, the structures in there, and then you can do your own modifications from there. So this is about the C++ file. We're going to talk about the simulation in the next video. Thank you very much.